Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. We will be introducing Portal, our latest open source release, and how you can use it to inspect your neural networks directly in your browser. So let's begin. First, let us register a model. For this experiment, we will be using the YOLO darknet model. So let's select that. And let's give it a name. And simply type in the folder path to the model directory. And register it. Next, we can load the model so that we can begin running inferences on it. But first, we will need a data set. For this experiment, we will be using a pedestrian image data set. And to load it in, we can just open up the file management dialog, paste in the folder path, and we can see that the image bar has been updated. Running inferences is straightforward. Simply select an image and click Analyze. And we can see a few bounding boxes has shown up. The first feature is, of course, the confidence threshold bar, where users can use it to slide around to see the sensitivity of various predictions and how the model reacts to it. Let's select a different photo. We see that there are more objects now, and we can zoom in on the canvas to further inspect them. Another feature that we have is the filter tag function. Say, for example, we want to see only the humans. We can type in persons. And we only see the persons. Now, of course, we can do the inverse, which is to see everyone except for people. And this is extremely helpful, especially when you have a model that predicts on a large amount of tags. And you just like to filter a few of those and see how they perform on various images. Another feature we have is the bug analysis function, where you can run analysis on every single image in your dataset and come back later so that you can have a smooth and fast experience looking through and inspecting all the results. Another critical feature we want to push is, of course, running model inferences on videos. This is a pain point for many developers. In this example, we have a junction video, and we're going to set the frame interval to 1. This means that the model will predict and run inference on every single frame of the video. This will take some time, but the results will be buttery smooth. And, and there we have it. We can see that boxes are being rendered on every single frame of the video. And this means that we can pause it and zoom in to see how our model is performing. And this is important, especially when your model is due to run on CCTVs, uh, real-world video feeds, and you like to see under what conditions various things are showing up and where your models get confused. Another key function of Portal is the ability to run mass models. Many of today's uh, you know, uh, models, such as for inspection, for industrial applications, for biomedical use, runs on the famous model mass RCNN. So let's see how Portal performs with instance segmentation. I have here a sample mass RCNN model, and let's load it. And let's run analysis. We start to see the mass showing up. And again, we can use the same confidence threshold to perform the same type of inspection. And we can again filter out the handbag just to take a look at it. It works. Another feature we have is the ability to change the visuals, increasing annotation opacity, changing image settings so that you can pick out um, all the little stuff that might be hidden due to the brightness of an image or due to overlapping um, annotations. Again, we see this being run on another image. And as expected, the vehicle behind is being bounded by a few mass predictions. Portal features many other advanced settings, such as IOU settings, uh, video frame interval, bulk prediction, file types, and much more. We will be detailing all the features and as well as things in our roadmap, such as support for PyTorch, Onyx, and much more in our GitHub repository. If you'd like to try out this experiment for yourself, just simply head down to github.com slash slash portal and we have a detailed uh, setup uh, list of instructions 
so that you can try it out on your own. And if you do not have a model, don't worry, we have included some sample weights such that you can try out model on some of your data sets before you have your own custom computer vision model. So we hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks again and speak soon.